Welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know, I'm just some guy trying his best. And today I just want to take a quick minute to talk about internal storage for the Mac. So for the Mac mini M1, think of the base price as $899 instead of $699, meaning automatically get that 16 gigabytes of RAM, but don't upgrade the internal storage. The reason why I'm saying that is it's a lot cheaper to buy external storage for anything that you're going to be doing, especially when it comes to editing. The base model 256 gigabyte internal storage for the Mac mini is more than enough for all the applications that you're actually going to need. It's way cheaper to buy an external SSD or external hard drive than it is to buy more storage within the Mac. The base model Mac mini comes with 256 gigabytes and to even jump to the next stage, which is 512, you're looking at an additional $200. To jump even further to the one terabyte, you're looking at an additional $400. And to even touch the two terabyte SSD that you can put in the Mac, it's gonna be an additional $800. Even though the speeds of an external SSD or hard drive would be slower than an internal, the price kind of outweighs what you can and cannot do. So when it comes to editing, you can edit on an external SSD or an external hard drive. The speeds won't be there when it comes to exporting or dumping in your files, but the cost kind of outweighs the benefit. With an external hard drive, you're looking at speeds between 50 to 100, maybe 150 at most. With an SSD, you can range up to 300 to 450, all the way up to about 900, depending on which SSD you have. Now, if you were to edit with the internal SSD in the Mac, speeds would range higher than 1,000 to 1,200. Other options you could go are external SSD SATA drives. Now you would need an enclosure in order to have that work on the Mac, but again, it's still cheaper than upgrading 200, 400, and 800. I personally have the 699 Mac mini, but I am upgrading to the 16 gigabyte variant. But for both models, I made sure to get the 256 gigabyte versions. That way it would save me money and I can also do an external hard drive or external SSD for either one. So for stores like Best Buy, Target, Walmart, or Amazon, you can always get something way cheaper online or even at the retailer than you can by getting internal storage when it comes to the SSD. For example, I have this four terabyte hard drive from Seagate. I've had this for multiple years. It hasn't failed me yet. I keep a lot of external movies on here. Right now, this is only running 95 bucks on Amazon for four terabytes of storage. Again, with these, you're not getting the craziest amount of speed. So for hard drives like these, I wouldn't actually edit off these, but I would keep them as an archive or backup or dump files. It's just way cheaper to do four terabytes of this hard drive at $95 than to upgrade to the two terabyte variant of the internal storage of the Mac M1 for an additional $800. Other variants you can get are like these G drives. This one right here is a four terabyte. I think it's ranging between 129 or 150, depending on what cyber deal Monday you're looking at, whether it's at Best Buy or Amazon. Other options you can go with other than the internals that you can buy from Apple. I personally edit off of a Samsung SSD T7. This is a one terabyte variant. Now this is more than enough for me to do one to three projects at a time. But if anything over that, you probably want to upgrade in the storage when it comes to these. And these are way cheaper, again, than the internal that you can get from Mac. For this variant SSD, right now it's $149 on Amazon. It's typically about $200, but with the holiday season, you're looking about $150. Again, a way better option, and the speeds run between $600 and $900. So you're looking at fast speeds when it comes to editing. Another option is a SATA drive. I personally have a Samsung 870 EVO 2TB plugged into my computer. I got a pretty good deal on that one. That one's about $130. For the SATA option, you can't really travel with it because you're going to need an enclosure in order to run it. That's why the Samsung SSD T7s or the T5s work way better when it comes to traveling. But if you have a desk setup like I do, a SATA drive works perfectly fine. Now the speeds for that one, because I do have it plugged in through USB 3.0, is about 450, I wanna say. So again, you're getting fast speeds, nothing like the internal Mac would do, but for the price points and the multiple storage I have, I don't even come close to the $800 that you could get for the two terabyte variant. So everything I talked about today will be in affiliate links in the description. If you have any questions about what I talked about today, go ahead and leave a comment. All right, until the next one, make sure you like and subscribe. And again, I'm just some guy trying his best. How you doing today, YouTube? What's up, YouTube?